Hello. Today we're going to talk about smart art. So rather than explain how I got to this particular piece of smart art right here, I'm going to create it with you. So those of you that have toyed around with smart art before probably have an appreciation for how difficult it is to get the shapes looking the way you want them to. Now, for those of you that have not really messed around with smart art before, you're probably going to take this for granted. Um, and in which case, I just want you to understand that uh, this is going to go well for me and it's going to go quickly because I have a plan. Right? And so not only do I have a plan, but I'm going to use the text pane. Uh, the text pane is over here. All right, so if you use the text pane and you have a plan, this should go pretty easily. Um, once this starts getting off track, though, it's almost impossible to fix. So here's my target piece of smart art, and we're going to create it from scratch over here. So here I am, blank sheet. If you want to create some smart art, it's under the Insert tab, and it's right here. So smart art, there are many varieties of smart art. They all have their own unique names. Um, I'm going to do the hierarchy charts today because... Those are the most difficult ones, I think. A lot of these are pretty fancy, but like a pyramid is just not that hard to put together. Like, for example, here's cycle, here's gears, right? It's called gear. So here's a piece of smart art. It's your job to enter text. Now, you can enter text directly on the shapes, but I always advocate for doing that here, right? I put an A, I put a B, I put a C, right? Not too difficult to put together gear, uh, gears, particularly with, like gears. You can't even put more shapes in gears, right? I'm trying and it's not even letting me. Most smart art is easy like this. Just make a choice, type some information, takes care of itself. Now the more difficult ones are the ones like this where there's relationships between the data. So we've got a president. President has three people under this person. VP sales has two pure people under. Uh, marketing has two people underneath. Uh, accounting has three people underneath, right? So note these relationships, these these lines matter, right? It's showing that there are three people. Uh, these assistant ones not any higher than assistant two, but note the relationships. And so creating those relationships is where you have to put some thought into it. So here I'm heading over to the insert tab. I'm going to smart art. I'm gonna go to hierarchy, right? Just because I'm gonna do the first one it's kind of a, it's a middle of the road difficulty one. Notice when you insert SmartArt, you just get this random relationship here. That's not the relationship we had before. I could try and add shapes and realign things, but I know that's a terrible idea. So I'm going to open up the text pane. And what I always do, first thing, I press the delete key. I get rid of, you know, I don't know. I guess you, you got to, okay, there we go. So you, I just get rid of everything and start from scratch. That is by far the best way to do this. So the top of that food chain was the president. And so if I want to create a new shape and I'm working in the text pane, I press enter. And so the next one would be the VP um, sales. Notice that they are on the same link. If I press tab, it indents it. And notice that now it is below it. You can see it's below it with the indentation here and you can see that uh, indicating below as well. The next one was VP marketing. I'm just gonna press enter. And since I am one level down, the next shape is gonna be one level down, which is good. See, this is not that hard. I mean, just cause I know how it works. If I press enter again, I'm gonna do my next VP. And this was VP of accounting. All right, so notice I've got that relationship. I've got three children underneath the president, right? Three children underneath the president. I had a plan and I'm not trying to change things. I'm just doing it right the first time, which is really the only way I can advise. So now we got to get to the part where we've got to do these children, right? And there's no wrong order to do that. Let's just start with sales. That makes sense to me, right? So sales had two children. So I'm going to click on sales. I'm going to press enter. Notice that's not the relationship I'm going for. If I press tab, it's now underneath it and we're getting one step closer. And so this was underling one. And I'm going to press enter again and create another child, underling two. And so notice if I just have some thought and I know where these things are going to go, then I just put them in the right place. There's no adjusting. Marketing had two children as well, so I'm going to press enter. I'm going to tab in. And so this is uh, minion one and minion two. And then accounting had three children, and then these were assistant one, uh, assistant two and assistant three and that's the chart 
Right, notice I didn't swing anything around. There was no right clicking and dragging or anything like that. I just thoughtfully used the text pane to put this together. Now, it's pretty boring and blue. So if I want to make this look like this, well, I selected my smart art and I went to change colors and I did colorful one, which is just what I normally do. Right, these are just different color schemes. Do what you want to do. Here's colorful one. And I also went into styles and I went to 3D polished which is just kind of the standard. That seems like the standard that most people ask for because it's relatively easy to find. And now that chart is that chart, and this one's just bigger, and these things tend to resize on their own. Now, one thing I don't like about this chart, that's just how it turned out, and that's okay, but uh, I, this is not what you would call a balanced tree. I think it looks better, and it's a more accurate depiction if you balance it. So what I'm going to do is make a decision about what needs to be balanced. Let me just balance a piece of it first to show you what that looks like. So if I select this chunk of the tree, you can do it from here or there. You go to layout, you go to standard. That's balanced, right? I mean, that's more clearly illustrating that, hey, these guys are all on the same level. Like this, it kind of looks like minion one's above minion two. You actually have to think about it for a second. So I'm just gonna select right, that whole part of the tree and balance it like that. And you can see why this is kind of better because it's larger and it's easier to read, but this is a more accurate depiction. So it all really depends how many children are on a level, but I think this is probably what you would want, probably. Well, it all depends, right? This is more accurate, this is easier to read. Notice what I did not do Let's just start messing around with this one. So I've seen this a million times. People will grab a shape and they'll start kind of moving it around, trying to balance it themselves. Look at those lines, right? This is awful. I mean, it is terrible. So my point is use those tools to align it for you, right? I, I can't even get it. And here's the fun part. You're like, okay, I guess that's not too good. I At one point, I should probably decide to give up. If I try and balance it now, I can't. Isn't that just the weirdest thing? I don't know really why it works like that, but once you start monkeying around with them, then these layout tools are worthless to you. So don't mess up your chart by trying to get too cute with it. So that's smart art, and that will probably look easy if it's the first time you've ever seen it. It was only easy because I used the text pane and because I knew what I was trying to do. This is about relationships. It's not about what it looks like so much. If you create the proper relationships, uh, everything should take care of itself. That's smart art. Thanks for watching.